Okay, we've uh, we've seen how the Portland landscape got formed. We g had a glimpse of who lived here, the uh, the Native Americans who lived here at the time, what their culture was like, what the land was like. Well, now let's start talking about the city itself and how it became a city. Portland, birth of a city. So it all started at that land that we saw called the Clearing. Banks of the Willamette River, place where the, uh, the Native Americans would stop, um, traders would come. Captain Clark visited there in 1806. Uh, many years later, another uh, a sailor came in there, Captain Cooch. He, uh, he had a boat. He was a, a trader himself, and he, he figured that uh, the clearing was a great spot for a port because the river was just the right depth to accommodate a large boat. So now, after that, a lot of people started showing up in this area. The Oregon Trail brought a lot of pioneers, a lot of immigrants. They met uh, Native Americans. They Some of them traded with them at the clearing. And a lot of these pioneers decided they'd stay in Portland and that they wanted to, to stake a claim. Now, to stake a claim meant that you would um, be able to go to the territorial land office and just say, I want this land fill out some forms, pay a small amount of money, put your mark on a tree on the land, and then essentially it was yours. You know how much it cost? Are you ready for this? 25 cents? What a bargain. So it just so happened that there was a pioneer named William Overton. Yeah, a lot of these guys have streets named after them. He wanted to stake a claim to the clearing. Had a problem. That's right. No money. Broke. He needed to find a quarter. So, enter his partner, William um, Asa Lovejoy. Sorry. Another pioneer, politician. Nice guy. He lent Overton a quarter. They split the claim. Overton didn't want to stick around, though. So he sold to Francis Pettigrove. He made a pretty good profit, too, didn't he? So now, under um, the ownership of Pettigrove and Lovejoy, the settlement uh, in the clearing really began to grow. So what was once just maybe grass and some trees, well, they had to clear those trees away. They had to cut them down. They left a lot of stumps there. That's why Portland's called Stump Town. And they began to grow, uh, they, they began to build and grow an actual settlement. Of course, a settlement needs a name. What were they going to name Portland? Oops, I think we know, don't we? But how did it happen? Well, they, they were each proud of their hometowns. Lovejoy from Boston, Pettigrove from Portland, Maine. Maybe they could put the names together somehow. Nah. Bad idea. Hmm. How would they decide? I hope someone has a coin. And it was Portland. You can see that coin at the Historical Society downtown. Well, that's the story, the end of our story and the beginning of a new city in the Northwest called Portland, a city that would grow to become known as the Jewel of the Northwest.